What is going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So the last couple of videos I did then, one was on trending products for 2019 and one for niches. And a lot of you have been getting in touch then saying you really enjoyed the videos, which is great. But you wanna know then how I actually found those niches and how I found those products, the kind of methods and strategies I used um, to do that. So in this video then, that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do. So there's a few different methods. And then in the second part of the video, and probably the most important part as well actually, is I'm gonna be showing you guys how I can pretty much guarantee if a product's gonna be a winner or not. I'm going to be showing you guys the kind of signs then that I look for in a product to tell myself whether that product is actually selling really well or not. So there's a couple of different websites that I use to kind of cross-reference against each other and build up a case on that particular product. But we'll get into more detail later on in the video. For now, that's the topic. Thank you for tuning in and let's get straight into it. What is going on then guys, welcome to my computer. So as you can see then, I'm not gonna use the face cam for this video just because I want you guys to see absolutely everything I'm doing. Um, and number two then, this is I'm gonna show you the, pretty much the exact strategy and process I go through when I'm doing my product research. So it might get a bit messy. Um, there's gonna be a few, quite a few different things that I'll show you guys and I'm not gonna go into crazy detail on absolutely every single point just because it would make the video probably hours long. So if there is kind of like a specific segment or section that you guys want me to do a more kind of in-depth and detailed video on then drop a comment down below in the comment section and if somebody's already mentioned the same section that you wanted to mention then just make sure you like their comment and if we get like a couple of likes or whatever on a specific section then I can do a video on that no problems at all so the first kind of method or strategy I want to show you guys is quite an interesting one um, and I haven't seen anyone else do this on YouTube either so I thought it'd be a good one to show you guys because I always look to put I always like to put new things out there that um, you guys find value in essentially and if you do then all I ask is that you hit that like button on this video um, so that being said then all you need is a Facebook account and this method you can actually use and it's really powerful and essentially what you do if you get to this screen so I'll show you how you get to this screen if you click on the arrow on the top right here uh, go down click on settings and then click on ads down here on the left hand side if you can see and it's gonna bring you to this screen here. And essentially this gives you all the information that is presenting. So you can change your ad settings, you can hide certain topics, etc. But for this video, what will draw your attention to is this your interest section here. Um, and please nobody laugh at my interest. I, I don't really use Facebook for personal reasons. Um, so all of this stuff is really old. Um, that's my excuse anyway. So as you can see, Avengers 2012. Anyway, so as you can see, there's all these different categories at the top here. And one thing I want to point out as well is a lot of people always ask me is when you target a certain interest on Facebook, then how does Facebook determine if someone's part of that interest? So if you hover over it like this, for example, you get a little pop up that says you have this preference because you have liked a page related to comedy movies. So that's it sounds simple, but it's really powerful. And you need to understand that because when you target, say, just like an interest like dogs as just as like a single interest, then anybody who's liked a page rela related to dogs will be included in that interest. And that won't necessarily mean that they own a dog and that therefore they probably won't even be interested in your product. So just bear that in mind when you're doing your targeting. So anyway, the key point that I actually wanted to show you guys was if you hover over, as you can see, it comes up with this C example ads and this is really powerful. So if we click on this, Facebook is gonna give us actual ads that are being ran at this current point in time um, to do with this interest so as you can see the straight away the first one do not disturb I'm playing Fortnite socks and these look like quite a general products and probably on AliExpress as well actually um, and it gives you the page name as well so we can actually head across to their page and see what kind of other products they are advertising too now as I mentioned in the intro then I want to show you guys how I build up a case and the kind of signs I look for then in a product to tell me that it's actually selling well. And then that way it tells me it's worth my time to actually go and experiment and test with. So I've got another tab open then if we just head across and try and find these guys. So SASS -S -S, party supplies. SASS. -S. This looks like them. And as you can see then, so it's the very first post on their newsfeed. Um, so this is definitely the same people. And what we wanna look for then is the kind of the engagement and the comments and the shares. So as you can see, it's qu they're all pretty like quite high figures, which is a good sign, but that's not good enough for me. What I actually wanna do now is I'm gonna open up the comments and what I'm looking for now is actual intent. So people commenting that they've bought this or they want somebody to buy it for them 
or intense or it's people saying they're going to buy this or they actually want this particular product you need this a gift for the boys xmas prezi uh, xmas prezi sorted a late birthday present so as you can see then these are all pretty strong signs that people will have a keen interest in this and will actually be going ahead and actually buying this product. Um, even better, we wanna try and find somebody that's actually said they have bought this product because then that tells us like immediately right away that, that people are actually buying it. Buy me these please. So as you can see, you kind of get the idea. Any questions at all, make sure you leave a comment section down below. I don't wanna make this video too long just scrolling through comments because that'll get a bit boring for you guys. Um, I'll get you an hour and a couple of new. How long is delivery? One to three days. So these guys might not be drop shipping. They might be um, print on demand. These just place my order. So there you go. So somebody is actually buying these. So there's really good, strong intent. Another thing you can do then is when you go on a certain Facebook page, you can go on info and ads over here and it's gonna tell you the ads that it's running. So again, it gives you product ideas. And once you have these products, then you can go across and there's a couple of different websites then that you can use to cross reference them. So pretty much the first thing I ever do is go straight to AliExpress and try and find the exact product on AliExpress and see what kind of reviews it's got. Um, see how many order numbers it has. Now, AliExpress is pretty good at blocking out like specific brand names. So if we were to search for Fortnite um, socks, then the chances are it probably won't show us anything because um, they wanna stop people selling trademarked items. So for example, as you can see, sorry your search didn't return anything. But if we put something like gaming socks, then is that the first one? So it's the very first product that's actually come up. Um, for nice socks if we let's just filter by orders just to see if it's still there do not disturb on gaming um, so these are the socks here so 460 orders they're on the top line when you filter by a number of orders so as you can see they're still a really popular product now the order numbers aren't hugely high but 460 is still a pre pretty decent number they've got good reviews as well and a brilliant the brilliant thing about this as well is the fact that you can see exactly what these guys are selling it for so if we were to actually go onto their website in fact i think it mentioned it in their post so all three items for 199 so what they're doing is, it, is this is a bundle offer. So bundle offers then are a great tactic for increasing perceived value. Um, now the fact that they're offering shipping within a couple of days probably tells me the fact that they've bought like a, like a significant amount of these, like a bulk order of them, and they're packaging them all together and shipping them out just as like a Christmas special thing. Um, but anyway, that's kind of like tactic number one. Um, you guys kind of hopefully get the gist of what I'm doing here. So you can go into your ad preferences, look up different interests, actually see what kind of ads are being ran, find them on Facebook, and then you can kind of start your digging and your research from there. Um, then if you want to know the kind of signs you want to look out for then if this particular product is selling well so always go in the comment section so number one thing look for a post that has a good amount of engagement and shares because if it has that shows an interest at least from the audience and then to kind of build on that interest and actually kind of find proof that people are buying this product then always open up the comment section and look at what people are commenting see if anybody's saying they've purchased it and received it a lot of times people will actually come back and leave reviews on the actual post i've shown you guys in previous videos where people have done that for their led dog collars and we'll actually post pictures in the comment section showing people and leaving reviews which is great so if an ad has been around for long enough um, then no doubt you'll start seeing stuff like that in the comment section um, and then another couple of ways then that you can go about kind of proving to yourself this product is going to be a winner by showing intent that people are actually buying it. So you can use Google Trends. I've shown this in the previous couple of videos. Um, but if we were to just put in here something like Fortnite. Now I'm not sure how well, whether socks are the kind of specific thing people will go looking for. But as you can see then, the interest over time has increased dramatically. Now a couple of things to mention with Google Trends. So you can filter by country alone i always recommend leaving that worldwide because what it does is it gives you an interest by re by region so you can see then exactly what countries are essentially building the demand for this product you can set the different time frames as well fortnite hasn't been around very long so we we can narrow it down to say the past 12 months and the popularity is still growing as well which is still a great sign and then at the bottom you've got the different related queries so this might give us 
different actual product ideas that we can go ahead and start doing even more research on so that's another way then you can kind of or another sign to look for then if a product is doing well is if this graph is pointing upwards then because that tells us that more and more people then are interested in this product and then another method you can use is if you go on this website here watchcount.com what this does is it has pretty much a record of every single product on ebay and if you put your put your keywords in here so fortnite socks wait and see what comes up so they're all the same which is good if we just open it up it's going to take us to ebay and what we want to look for now is how many units have actually sold because again so as as that popped up just there 63 sold in the last 24 hours so that is a very 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 strong sign that people are buying this product and want to buy this product so if we were to actually go ahead and test this product, we know that people are buying it. So if they're not buying it from us, then it's something we're doing. It's either our ad or our audience or our store. There's intent there. That's guaranteed. We know 100% as a fact that people are buying this product. As it says there, 63 sold in the last 24 hours. Over nearly 2,500 sold to, um, combined. Now, another a thing to mention with with the eBay is the key indicating factors that you're looking for is you want to make sure that there's more sold than there are people watching because with some products people really like products but they won't actually buy it so they'll just watch it and if you come across a product that has loads and loads of watches but not many buyers then you want to stay away from it because at the end of the day we want hard evidence that people are actually committing and actually buying this particular product and then that way it's going to guarantee to us that it's a winner um, so moving on then it's got a bit messy so far but hopefully you guys are getting the gist of what's going on here so um, you can use this method then to find a product find them on Facebook look at what they're advertising um, and then to see if it is selling well find the product on Aliexpress look at the order numbers and the reviews you can check on watch count see if people are actually buying it on eBay put it into Google Trends as well see if the popularity of the product is actually increasing because that's a really strong sign as well and then there's a couple of other ways as well that I like to find products so this next strategy I'm about to show you guys is great if you've already committed to a niche so if you've already built your store out and you're not having much success and you think it's because of the products you're selling then this is a great strategy to use and it's really easy to do so all you do then is put in the name of your niche so gadgets dogs cats or whatever it is so if we just put gadgets as it was there gadgets and follow it by .myshopify.com just hit enter and what that's going to do is all of these shops here then are going to be gadget shops that are currently being hosted on Shopify so if we just take this first one as an example now you do always have to check to make sure that it is a drop shipping store now as your experience kind of um, improves and you kind of get to know like what products especially if you're in that niche already like I know for a fact you can get that product on Aliexpress and that product as well so the chances are this is a drop shipping store now what you want to do is you want to filter you want to find their best selling products so there's a couple of ways you can do it you can just go to a specific collection and then usually they'll give you like a filtering option to find out what their best selling is so once that loads, so as you can, now it's loaded, as you can see, that's their best selling products within the mobile accessories. Now, if you wanna find their all time best selling products, what you wanna do is if you go back to their homepage and I've got this piece of URL here, so I just copy that. So we'll just copy this, we'll go back to the site and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna literally stick it on the end of the homepage URL, and that's gonna give us the best selling products of all time on their site. Now, there are ways of blocking this URL so it won't work, so if it comes up with like a random page or whatever, then it hasn't worked because people can block it, but as you can see, it has worked on this site, and we can see then this is their very best selling product. So again, that's hard evidence that this is a popular and winning product because it's their best selling. So now again, you can obviously go across to the other sites I've shown you and look to see if there's even more evidence there, but it's just a great starting point of finding products. So if we just click on this, 
The reason this is super powerful as well is because the fact that we know it's a best-selling product on their site, we can see what they're selling it at as well. So it's a best-selling product at 1099, which means we could probably get away with charging a little bit more than that and still make a decent amount of sales. So like I mentioned earlier, again, you can then take the name of this product, go across to AliExpress and find it, find it on eBay, on watch count, again on Google Trends, but I'm not gonna go through the process again. I don't wanna make the video too long. Um, we're probably pushing already 20 minutes almost. And then the third and final method I wanna show you guys is one that I use quite a lot in fact, is so the way I started was if you go, if you just search on Google for Shopify space myip.ms, then it's this website here. So myip.ms browse sites of this one here. And what this is then what it does is it's gonna show us literally absolutely every single store that Shopify is hosting. And it does it in order as well in terms of the world site popular rating. So pretty much how much traffic it's getting. So this is a great way actually of seeing what the biggest stores on Shopify is. But another super powerful thing that you can actually do is if you search in here, so full slash part website name. So again, if we wanna find say all the biggest dog Shopify stores, just put dog in there, hit search. And as you can see, it puts it in the rating. It filters it by the rating again. So we can see, so this one here, now not obviously not all these are gonna be drop shipping sites, but the more you look at, the more you'll realize when you start seeing products you can source on AliExpress, then you'll know straight away. So this is the biggest dog website on Shopify then. So this is absolute gold for finding popular products that are actually selling well. So when the site pops up like this, then it won't let you change the URL. So we can't do that URL trick that I showed you to find the best seller. So what we're gonna do then is we're just gonna copy this uh, we'll put it in a new tab. And if we take this end in here, stick this on the end, hit enter. And hopefully then, because it's one of the biggest sites, they might have blocked it. But to me, it doesn't look like they have. So as we can see then, the chances are this is all their best-selling products. So again, it gives us another avenue to go down. These are more products that we can go and start looking at, doing our research on, comparing on watch count, find the product on AliExpress, all the good stuff that I just showed you guys. Now, that being said, I think I'm gonna wrap the video up there. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick recap because we did cover quite a lot. So find your product using either of the three methods I just showed you. So go on Facebook, look at what your own interests are. It's always good to sell products within an interest you're already interested in. See the example ads, go to their Facebook pages and find the products, look for the engagement, make sure it's got good engagement. And if it has then look for the cold hard facts or evidence then that people are actually buying that product. So look at the comments, make sure you find people who have said they've bought it or they've already bought it, they've left a good review or make sure there's a keen interest in people actually buying that particular product. And then to make sure there is, you can go on watch count, find it on eBay, Always make sure that there's more sold than that is watchers because again, we wanna make sure people are actually buying it. Look to see how many people have bought it in the last 24 hours. So 63 is a really good amount. And then you can also go on Google Trends as well, put it in there, make sure it's on the upward trend. Just then that way you, you know for a fact that people are interested in your product. And if not more and more and more people are gonna be interested. And that being said then guys, I think I'm gonna wrap the video up there. I feel like I've been talking for hours and hours. If you're still watching the video, then I really do appreciate it. It really does mean a lot. All the people that watch the videos right to the end, um, it really does help the organic growth of the channel. So I really do appreciate you guys. Um, and if you're still watching, then hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do leave a like. Again, it really does help and contribute towards the growth of the channel. And that being said then guys, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. Any questions at all, by the way, then please do make sure you leave a comment down below. I always get back to every single person um, and that being said then thank you for tuning in and i'll see you all in the next one